بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم we have integral x from 0 to 1 of the cube of the fractional part of 1 over x let's do the change of variables y equal to 1 over x when x tends to 0 from above y tends to infinity when x is 1 y is 1 dx is equal to minus dy over y squared we can use the minus sign to have our integral from 1 to infinity here is dy over y squared inside the integral we have the cube of the fractional part of y let's split this integral into integrals from m to m plus 1 where m is a positive integer when y is between m and m plus 1 the floor of y is equal to m the fractional part of y is equal to y minus m the integrand is y minus m cubed divided by y squared expanding we have y cubed minus 3y squared m plus 3y m squared minus m cubed when we divide by y squared we get y minus 3m plus 3m squared over y minus m cubed over y squared Swap the order of integration and summation. The integral of y is 1 half y squared. When we use the limits of integration, we get 1 half m plus 1 squared minus m squared. That's m plus 1 half. Minus 3m is multiplied by the difference between m plus 1 and m. That's 1. Here is minus 3m. The antiderivative of this part is 3m squared log y. When we use the limits of integration, we get 3m squared log m plus 1 over m. The antiderivative of 1 over y squared is minus 1 over y. Using the limits of integration, we get 1 over m minus 1 over m plus 1. From here, we get minus m squared plus m cubed over m plus 1. Add and subtract 1 in the numerator. m cubed plus 1 is equal to m plus 1 times m squared minus m plus 1. These two terms go away. We end up with minus m squared plus m squared minus m plus 1 minus 1 over m plus 1. In addition to this term, we also got m plus 1 half and minus 3m. Adding, we get 3 over 2 minus 3m minus 1 over m plus 1 plus 3m squared log m plus 1 over m. Let's stop the sum at big M. Then we later take the limit as big M tends to infinity. For this part here, we have 3 summation k from 1 to big M. I used k in place of small m. The sum is k squared. I use the numerator here, so log k plus 1. We also have minus 3 summation m from 1 to big M, m squared log m. Note that in this sum, I can start from 0 because log 0 plus 1 is 0. Let's do the substitution, k equal to m minus 1. When k is 0, m is equal to 1. When k is big M, small m is big M plus 1. k squared is m minus 1 squared. Log k plus 1 is log m. The last term in this sum is 3 big M squared log big M plus 1. Then we have 3 summation small m from 1 to big M, 3 M minus 1 squared log M. We can combine this part and that one. M minus 1 squared minus M squared is minus 2 M plus 1. This part is 3 summation small m from 1 to big M log M minus 6 summation small m from 1 to big M M log M. Let's now focus on this part. 3 over 2 is added to itself m times. So we have 3 big M over 2 minus 3 summation small m from 1 to big M. That's 1 half big M times big M plus 1. Taken together, these two terms are equal to minus 3 big M squared over 2. We also have minus the sum of 1 over M plus 1. Then this term and that one summation small m from 1 to big M log M is log the product of small m from 1 to big m of m, and this is big m factorial. This part here is equal to 3 log the factorial of big m. We see here the sum of m log m. In many cases, when we see a sum as such, we try to write down our result in terms of the glacier Kankling constant. The natural logarithm of the constant is the limit as big m tends to infinity of summation small m from 1 to big m, m log m plus big m squared over 4, minus the quadratic polynomial big M squared over 2 plus big M over 2 plus 1 over 12. This bracket is multiplied by log big M. These terms are inserted here. To compensate, we need to add 6 over 4 M squared, which is 3 over 2 M squared. We need to subtract 6 log M, M squared over 2 plus big M over 2 plus 1 over 12. This is minus 3 M squared log M, minus 3 M log M, minus 1 half log m. We have cancellation, 3m squared over 2 and minus 3m squared over 2. We can take this one outside the limit. 
we have these two terms, 3m squared log m plus 1 and minus 3m squared log m. We have this term, which tends to 0 as big M tends to infinity. We have this harmonic number, 3 log the factorial of M, these two terms here. This bracket, when big M tends to infinity, tends to log A. We use Stirling's result to handle M factorial. As M gets very large, log M factorial is asymptotically equal to 1 half log 2 pi plus M plus 1 half log M minus M. When we multiply by 3, we have 3 over 2 log 2 pi plus 3m plus 3 over 2 log m minus 3m. Here is 3 over 2 log 2 pi. These two terms are 3m squared log 1 plus 1 over m. These two terms are minus 3m minus 1 half log m. Together with this part, we get log m. Here is this minus 3m. As big m tends to infinity, the mth harmonic number minus log m tends to small gamma, Euler mascaroni constant. So in our case here, we get minus a small gamma. This is the last part to consider. Let's do the Taylor polynomial for log 1 plus alpha about 0. These are the first three derivatives of log 1 plus alpha. Log 1 plus alpha is 0 when alpha is 0. The first derivative is 1 when alpha is 0. The second derivative is minus 1. Thus, the first two terms in the Taylor polynomial are alpha minus 1 over 2 factorial alpha squared. Then we have 1 over 3 factorial. The third derivative evaluated at zeta, which is between 0 and alpha. This is multiplied by alpha cubed. 2 over factorial 3 is 1 third. Replace alpha by 1 over big M. Multiply log 1 plus 1 over M by 3M squared, then subtract 3M. When we multiply by 3M squared, we get 3M minus 3 over 2 plus a finite number here that is upper bounded by 1 third, multiplied by 1 over M minus 3m cancels 3m. This goes to 0 as m tends to infinity. This limit is minus 3 over 2. Minus 3 over 2 plus 1 is minus 1 half. The integral x from 0 to 1 of the cube of the fractional part of 1 over x is 3 over 2 log 2 pi minus 1 half minus a small gamma minus 6 log a.